In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make Flappy Birds. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to remove Scratchy, and I'm going to paint in my own sprite. I'm going to make him have an outline of 10 and make him a little beak. And I'm going to connect these two together so I can fill it in. I'm going to click this and make it the same color as the bird. Reduce the saturation to make it look whiter. I'm going to make him a little eye. And something like that looks cool. But as you can see up here, we have a bit of a problem. His body looks really distorted. And that's a really easy fix. Go up here, make sure it turn it to no. Make this turn it to no. Then you're going to outline the bird. And now it'll fix it. I don't know exactly why but it's just how it works so now i'm gonna rename this guy to player because it's always good to stay organized now i'm gonna head here and when green flag clicked i'm going to right click rename variable and change this to y speed when i start i'm gonna set y speed to zero and forever change y by y speed i'm gonna change y speed by negative one so now if we click this you can see he begins to drop with realistic physics. But how does this work? I'm gonna put this in here just to make him center again. As you can see, it works perfectly. But how does it work? So, to really explain it, I'm gonna click this button to show you the variable. As you can see, if I show you this change y by y speed, that means it's going to change this player's position by y speed. And so, if the y speed is negative 1, which it starts off with, it's gonna drop by negative 1 pixels. But as this repeats, it goes to negative 2. So then it's gonna drop by negative 2 pixels. And then another one, it's gonna drop by negative 3. And it's going to get quicker and quicker as you can see so i hope i explained that right but to carry on we need player to actually move so if spacebar pressed then set my speed to 10 and so now if i do that you can see I'm floating up. But how does this work again? So what it's doing now is it says it's changing the Y speed to 10. So that's forcing us to go up by 10 pixels every tick. And a tick is just, I'll just go with like every frame. That will make more sense. Basically every frame. So if I do this, it's going up by 10 pixels a frame. But then since this is still changing it by negative one, it's going to continuously to drop down by negative one. And then it's going to drop by negative two and three and four and get faster and faster. So now we have a basic mechanic in the game. But as we can see, he looks really still. So I'm going to try and fix that i'm going to do a when green flag clicked forever and then i'm going to make a for this sprite only direction oh i spelled that wrong direction and now forever point in direction direction and i'm going to set direction to 90 just as its default and so now if i change this into a slider oh no my bad sorry it's be 180 right oh no i understand i'm stupid i am my bad but its default is 90 so we change it to 90 and look at that if i stop this real quick if you as you see it's going to point in the direction of direction and so if i change direction to 20 it's going to point 20 degrees it should be pretty simple to understand but if you don't that's totally fine but now we're going to carry on okay so i've come to this conclusion i'm going to break this apart and i'm going to tell you everything that it does point in direction direction pretty simple it's going to point in the direction we already said this so i'm going to put this back and now this one might be a little bit complicated but i'll break it up for you now the direction is going to change by y speed but it's negative y speed so if i put this in here let's say that the y speed right now it's negative 16 but if i put this in here it's going to become positive 16 it's basically reversing its sign and then right here i'm going to times this number which is 16 by, i'm going to times it by 0 0.5 which is 8 which is going to be the strength on how fast it changes its direction so if i put it to 1 it would go a lot faster than 0 0.5 i'm going to put this back and put it in here and now if the direction is greater than 145 so let me take this out this is greater than 145 for example basically right here is 145 it cannot go past there it's going to stick to 145 because it's going to set the direction to 145 and the same goes with just four if the direction is less than 45 so if it's less than 45 right here it's going to change to 45 and so all that together it looks like this very very neat i'm trying to explain it the best i can so drop a comment and let me know how good i'm doing there's one more thing i want to do i want to grab an or and mouse down i want to drag these both in here and put this both up here so now if i just mouse down like click the screen click anything basically on the screen it's going to do the exact same thing and now we have a pretty good start but i am going to change the sprite because it's a little bit too big something like this could do better and now i'm going to make a custom block options i'm going to do dash gravity i'm going to make an input gravity another text label point right I'm going to add an input point strength. I'm going to click this and now I'm going to explain it again. So I'm going to drag this, put it over here. And I'll put him over here as well. I'm going to set the gravity to negative one. Oh, I forgot something. I'm going to right click edit and add a text label jump height and make an input jump height. 
Now I'm going to make the point strength 0.5 and the jump height to 10. And now basically these are going to be substitutions for everything in here. So for example, if I put the gravity onto the change y speed by negative 1, now we define a gravity by negative 1. So this is just negative 1 to make it easier to change. So now if I put all of this in here and I rearrange it like this, I rearrange all of these like this and I put you here, it's a lot more organized. So you can copy everything down here. I put this to gravity, put this to point strength, which is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and the jump height to set y speed. And I'm going to add one more direction strength and put direction strength. And now I'm going to put the direction strength to negative 10. I'm going to put direction strength to change direction by negative 10. So now, as you can see, everything is a lot more organized and it still works the same. So now you can change everything a lot more easier, except I need to do this. Wait, what? We need to make sure to put this above here. So now it works very, very good. Take a moment to copy down everything here because it would be really bad if you mess something up. So pause the video if needed. But now you can just change the gravity, for example, negative two. It's going to drop a lot faster. It's going to be a lot harder. Same with the point strength. Let's just put it to 1. Now it's pointing up and down a lot quicker. And same with the jump height. Put it to 20. Now I jump a lot higher. And same goes with the direction strength. Negative 20. Now it's going to point up and it's going to point down a lot quicker. Now we basically finished the entire character. Well, I just say that he looks super cool. Now the game is looking good so far, but I want to make the graphics look better because this is not going to cut it. <coughs> so now we have an actual Flappy Bird costume. Now I'm going to convert it back to Vector and put a little box over here so it looks a lot better. And I basically just stole this image from Google and I'm going to write click duplicate, zoom in, and I'm going to do this top tip right here. I'm going to squish it down a little bit, and then I am going to remake it and grab the fill, this color, and boom. So now we have him flapping up and down, but we need to convert this back to vector and make the invisible box again because it deletes it. And so now we have a flapping bird. And now just for the costume, I'm going to do one start or ever, wait 0 0.05 seconds, and then next costume. So now, as you can see, he's flying like a bird. Very cool, right? But now we need the pipes. Okay, now that I have the pipes, I got these images off of Google. I'm gonna go to one green five click, go to x100 and y pick. I'll go 80 to negative 80. So now if you see, you wanna go from anywhere from 80 to negative 80 every time it starts. And that's basically how it's gonna work. So at the beginning, we're going to do one green five click. I'm gonna start as a clone. And when I start as a clone, go to the random position, except I'm gonna make this go to like 300 or something. And I'm going to make it change x by negative. I'll go five. I'm gonna do repeat just 200 times negative five. That's actually too much. I'm gonna do go with an 80. And I'm going to delete this clone. So now, as you can see, it's going to do that 80 times, and it's going to delete itself. It's getting stuck, so I'm going to move this all the way over here, just out of the range. Then you're going to see it's going to come through the edge. And now if I go back, this is actually a bad method, so I'm just going to do repeat until x position is greater than negative 200. Actually, le sorry, less than negative 200. And I'll just do a little bit of testing to see if this works. Okay, I think I have something that works. I changed the costume to go all the way to the left, and I'll show you why. This is what I have down here, negative 50, and I'm also, but I'm actually going to change jump height to 5, which is actually way too little. So 7, that looks perfect. So now I'm also going to hide, and then show, so this stupid thing isn't there anymore. And now as you can see, it looks perfect. I'm going to get rid of the one second to see if that changes anything. And now I'm going to do 0 0.05, repeat this until, I'm just going to leave it blank, and wait, I'll go 3 seconds. Seconds. And now, forever, every three seconds, it's going to create another pipe. Now, hold on. I need to figure out why they're not deleting on the left. And something I can do to do that is say next position. Now, if we move this. Oh, so it has to be like 75. That why? Well, it stops at 87. So I'll just make it crisp and 90. Actually, let me get rid of these. These are kind of annoying. Okay, perfect. But to make it a lot smoother, I'm going to do 100. And then I'm going to up here, just set ghost effect to zero. And I'm going to change ghost by, let's, yeah, let's just go with 25. I'm going to repeat that four times. I'm going to remove this and then delete the clone. And I'm also going to remove the X position because I don't need to debug anything. And now we have an actual Flappy Bird game. You can see like the smooth transition out. But the pipes, they don't kill you. So now I actually think I have good pipes now. But now I need to readjust the X position because it's all going to be based around what picture your sprite is. So I'm going to do the say, right click, duplicate X position. Now I'm just going to check when it reaches the end. So around 155, so 165. Now as we'll see, it disappears. Nice. Now with that struggle out the way, I'm gonna make the pipes kill you because yeah, so forever if touching pipes then I'm going to broadcast player death and I'm going to add a if not 
and I'm also going to have a player dead for all sprites. I'm going to set player dead to no, and I'm going to set player dead to yes. And so I can actually remove this, and if player dead is equal to no, then it can do all of this stuff. But then after all of that, I'm going to right click and I'm going to get rid of this, and I'm just going to put this all the way at the bottom. But it has to be in this one here. Actually, it can't go there. So when I receive message player death, I'm going to change all this stuff. Okay, so I figured it out. Put this in a forever loop and set the y speed to 10. Remove the gravity and point strength because they have to be in here for it to work. Just change it to negative 1 and then 0 0.5. And then put a wait until so it doesn't glitch out and continuously do it all. So boom, and now we dead. So now we need to stop these guys. So when I receive player death, stop other sprites in the script. And now let's just check it out. And now we have the working game. Now I'm going to remove the player dead. And that's your basic Flappy Bird game. All right, don't forget to come back for part two tomorrow because we're going to make this the actual Flappy Bird game and we're going to make it as perfect as possible. And so I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.